Excuse me. Oh, Peter, are you taking off? Yes, sir. I just came to say goodnight. Oh. I hope you had a good time. Oh, yes, ma'am. I really enjoyed myself. Well, good. Yeah, I'll bet you did. Well, Lucy, you still awake? Yeah. I've been thinking about what an idiot I've been. Lucy, what's wrong now? I'll tell you what's wrong. It took me till now to figure out why you've been avoiding me. Lucy, I thought you just weren't interested in me. For a while, I thought you weren't even interested in girls. Lucy, you don't know what you're saying. You're interested in girls, all right. Yeah, I found that out tonight. I even found out which one you are interested in. Lucy. No. You know, I was always wondering why you were so upset the day Swellen had her accident. You drove to the hospital like a madman. You almost had about three accidents getting us there. Lucy, I don't know what's the matter with you, but something isn't right. You can say that again. He's not coming to Southport just to work with John Ross. He's coming here to be with you. Just how long have you two been having this little affair, huh? What? Lucy, you're drunk. So what? I might be drunk, but I'm sure not blind. At least not anymore. Jane. I'll handle this. Just who the hell do you think you are accusing my wife of this? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I had to be ashamed? What about her? That's enough out of you, Lucy. <sighs> Peter, I have to apologize for this outburst. I can't tell you how sorry I am that she's involving you in this. Mr. Ewing, I... You've got a lot of nerve attacking Peter. He's a fine, honest young man. He has been of enormous help to this family, and this is the thanks that he gets. Oh. That's right. Go on upstairs. Get. Mr. Ewing. Peter. What can I say? She's been drinking. Sir, it's not that Lucy's been drinking. Oh, yes, it is. She's been guzzling booze all night. Sir. Peter. I don't feel right about this. There's something that I want to say. Peter. No, don't say anything. And don't thank me. You've done a great deal for my son, and we Ewings don't forget something like that. Honestly, now I want you to get some sleep. Tomorrow morning, we'll forget about Mr. this Ewing. whole thing. Hopefully, all of this will be over tomorrow morning. We can look at it in a different light. Mr. Ewing. No, no. We consider you one of us now. Got big plans for you. Mm -hmm.